it's been what, like 18 months, 15 months? How, how good does it feel to be back on the field? It felt great. Like, this is what we're here for. Like, it felt so weird being at Villanova, like, not playing no sports. So now we feel like we have a purpose again. So it felt good to be back out there. I mean, everyone, the energy is great. You know, everyone's just excited to be out there. It's been like 12. 14 months since the last time we were able to put pads on and play. So the energy's been good. You know, the reps are um, competitive. So we're doing the best we can, just taking it, you know, day by day and just stacking the days until Stony Brook. Yeah, I mean, I think it's everyone's longest time not playing a sport. So this definitely feels good to get in the weight room and get back on the field. The last time we played football, which seems like a long time ago. All the waiting, all the expectations, and now the reality. Football, college-wise, is alive here in 2019. And on the ground, Justin Covington right through the gut, and he is into the end zone. I think early on you could tell we were kind of a new group, just trying to figure things out. Um, we had a lot of success early. Hold is good. The kick is on the way, and the kick is good! He nailed it! Gives it off the right side of Debo Barley, breaks a tackle and into the end zone. The freshman scores the Anderson back. Here comes a rush. Looks like you're going to have him down, and he's wrapped up by Forrest Ryan. That's a huge sack for Villanova. You know, obviously, we had a lot of injuries, had a lot of guys step up. But I mean, I think for me, uh, the developmental process was obviously sped up. But I mean, it was a fun season. Um, great group of guys, uh, great sense of family and unity. So I think we're just looking to build off those same things this year. As you saw, like down the stretch at the end of the year, uh, obviously we had some injuries, but you know we kind of found a groove in, in play calling, and I think we really, uh, especially the last like two or three games, hit a stride offensively and put up a lot of points. Yes, the 2019 season didn't finish the way we'd wanted. Obviously, we did make it into the playoffs, uh, but then went down to Southeast Louisiana and had that one point loss. So I know our guys from that game moving forward uh, had that unfinished business mentality. Just like that, Villanova on the march. Smith will take a shot. He's looking for Hayek again. A one-handed crab. Are you kidding me? Touchdown, Villanova. Hold My on, pass point. interference. Number 26 of the offense, 15-yard penalty, replay first down. And the party begins on a Saturday night in Hammond. Anytime you, you don't end the season with a win, you know, it has to mo motivate you a little bit. Uh, but I think it, what's motivated us even more than that is the fact that we've had so much time now to sit here and think about it. Um, you know, we're kind of itching to get back to it. and prove that, you know, what happened last year isn't the end all be all for us, that we have more work to be done. Um, yeah, off season's definitely been long. Um, we've been waiting to get back on the field and compete, but I mean, it's been good. I mean, you've seen a lot of growth from a lot of different players on the team. It's been a lot of uh, everybody having to adapt. I mean, like with this COVID stuff going on, like this is new for everybody. There was definitely a lot of challenges. Obviously, we were home for a while, so I think Coach Tuck you know, did a great job of sending us, you know, different workout plans. So some guys, we were able to get in the gym. There's a gym card. Um, if you had a home gym, you had access to maybe some weights, a, a rack, or home workouts, and if you didn't have anything, um, it was a lot of just, you know, body weight stuff, I mean, things like that, try to just go outside. So it was definitely challenging. I think the coaches and players did a good job of trying to communicate with each other. I'm just staying tag and make sure. More importantly than the physical, our mentals were okay because we were all apart. I think we, the coaches had put us in great positions throughout the whole offseason, throughout quarantine since last March. Um, we've been getting on Zoom with our position coaches, our head coach as a team. Our guys handle it great. You know, we're thrilled to death to be back on campus, be back together. 
Um, but like I said, our, our administration, Father Peter, Mark Jackson, obviously Dr. Duncan and his crew uh, did a phenomenal job to be able to keep us safe and get us back on campus and get us out there, at least in the weight room and on the field, doing some type of uh, football-related activities. I feel as though we've been taking everything on the chin, like we've been taking the losses with the wins, but I feel like we persevering. Like, I'm excited to see how this year play out. I think we're going to be ready. Like Everybody is staying strong throughout all the madness we're blocking out the news, so I think we're going to be ready. It's, it's right here in my the bunk and then it's under my shirt right here. <laughs> Pringle. Pringle, he is, he's I mean he's a young guy, a sophomore, but man, he he can run. And he, he's made a lot of plays already. Um on the on the deep posts, the goals, I mean how he runs, he he's gonna be good for us. And it, it's great just to see him out there running um and, and doing well. Oh yeah. Oh Tom, let's go, man. Work. That's work, man. Y'all do great right here. Let's do great. Let's do great. That's why every day we live, man. What's up, Coop? I'm mic'd up. I'm mic'd up, bro. I'm mic'd up, bro. Oh, okay. Hello, everybody. This is Wyatt. Wyatt Humble. I like tacos and play guitar. What do you like? I like uh, hot wings with fries. You know, I mean, you be around, so I know you know a lot of guys, but I yeah. think Ray John Pringle, for sure, on the offense. Receiver, yeah. number 19, yeah, he, I feel like he gonna play a big part in the offense this year. He definitely gonna step up. <laughs> Go, hey, go ball, boy. You, you gotta get taller. That's what you gotta work on. <laughs> yeah, mic check, mic check, mic check, mic check. Oh, yeah, it's working, it's working. Trajan, that's the VA GOAT right there, man. That's the pun. That's one trying to follow after the VA GOAT right there. <laughs> I would have came back to that. I would have came back to that thing. I would have came back to that thing. <laughs> I think Pringle, and then you got Jaron Hayek coming back, so you already know what to expect from him. JJ Aaron. JJ Aaron. Uh huh. Ah, good stair step. Ah, good catch, boy. Oh, look at Danny Dunn. Oh, oh. Not only do he, he throw touchdowns, he can dance too. I'm not gonna tell you that because <laughs> I want everybody to know who we, who is gonna come out and surprise everybody. Just, just be ready. Just know someone is. Just be ready. Come.